spiritual acquiescence. So I actually ask God, aren't you acquiescing to my request, Lord? And if I was to ask the Lord to give me an opportunity and a blessing, my acquiescence in the request is simply to have the granting of supplication itself, confession of sin first, and then thanksgiving. To understand that, Lord, forgive me, the sinner, guilty of all. If I'm guilty of one thing of the law, then we are guilty of all. But us as a nation, where do we stand for within that? Have we come to the acquiescence of the true proposition of the necessary forgiveness that is given to us as a nation? Love is set forth, actually, and also a deep and profound respect and look towards that very Lord and the understanding of Jesus himself is in there for building, edifying, and strengthening each and every person an opportunity to acquiesce in the Lord and then therefore ask for that ability for everything. Actually, ask the Lord for anything. Whether we need wisdom, power, wealth, knowledge, understanding, love, patience, kindness, gentleness, goodness, everything within the spiritual essence as well as the necessities of this world. When we look towards God first and have that ability to go forth boldly before the throne, it is in going forth that we then therefore receive that spiritual opportunity and blessing that is given to divinity, actually. That divinity is actually divinely set forth and then therefore sown and built continually within the hearts of all. In understanding that acquiescence, we are able to therefore then have our request granted to therefore edify our lives and to proceed forth into the very next epoch and the next era of greatness, grandness, and glory. Jesus is building that up continually. It is that person that is that oversees and then therefore is free, liberating, and opening up for us continually the divine blessings, the grace, the glory, and the love of Christ Jesus. My prayer for you today is that you acquiesce to the presence of God through supplication, prayer, and thanksgiving. All that you need within this world, that the peace of God is known to you, and that you will continue to build forth that very great, permanent essence of the divine creator, building forth a new love, grace, under grace. Why? It is by grace that we are saved through faith. Thus I pray for your faith and the abundant grace of our Lord. In Jesus' name, God bless. God bless you, man.